Elgato have just released the new version of the Wavelink software, both for Mac and PC. Version 2.0 now comes with a new plugin called Voice Focus. And this is a new AI plugin that helps reduce any background noise and makes your vocals sound fantastic. So let's play around with it in the studio in the noisy environment and see how well it does. So I've got the new Elgato 2.0 Wavelink software and it's got the Voice Focus disabled at the moment. So I'm in a room that's not particularly well treated. What you can hear right now is just me coming through the Wave XLR interface and I've got a shotgun microphone just here. There's no processing on this whatsoever. This is just what you hear in the room. So here is the room noise. And what I'm going to do is we're going to enable the voice focus setting and just see how good it is. I'll also do a quick demo with a dehumidifier that I'll switch on in the background. But first of all, if you're in a noisy room, this could be really good. Let's see how good this plugin works. So we click on this little icon down here, which is the effects plugin. At the moment, the audio effects voice focus is disabled. I'm just going to turn it on now. And Typically with these things, you will get artifacting if you really turn up the gain of the control. So I'm going to set it to strong. Here's the room noise. And let's have a listen to what this does with my voice. Now, typically it would artifact if this is a not a very good plugin, but let's see what the quality of the voice sounds like with it at its maximum. And now I'm just going to turn it down to weak and let's see what my voice sounds like with this and then I'll be quiet and you can hear the background noise. So let's now turn on the dehumidifier and see what that sounds like. So as you can hear, I've got the air conditioning unit dehumidifier on in the background. It's very noisy. It's approximately four feet away from me. This would be like a typical office environment or an environment where you have no control over any air conditioning units that may kick in. So let's see what this voice focus plugin does with this at the moment. It's disabled, as you can hear, because it's super noisy. Let me just switch this on. So we'll set it to the middle settings and we'll turn it on now. So I'm now gonna speak and I'm gonna see what the voice focus is doing compared with the ambient noise in the background. So what it's gonna have to do is listen to the fact that this is a voice speaking and try and remove all the extraneous background noise from this dehumidifier or condition unit. It's on 50%. Let's turn it all the way down to weak. So this is the weak setting. So this is the one where you'd expect to it to have the least amount of artifacting. I mean, it's gonna be working really hard to try and remove this sound in real time in the background. And let me now just turn it on to strong. So now the slider is all the way up to strong. And it'd be interested to see what artifacting if any it's doing to my voice based on what you can hear so i'm now going to disable it completely back to it being fully noisy with the air conditioning unit all right let's take a look and see what this sounds like overall i think it sounded pretty good you just have to be careful at what strength you set the plug-in to if you set it all the way to strong on its maximum then you are going to get some artifacting in the voice as you heard from the demo but overall I think it's done a fantastic job and it's really a decent plug-in compared to some others that I've used in the past and particularly when you can just do one click set it around sort of between 60 and 70 percent and I think you're going to get the best out of it particularly in a really noisy environment and I was running a really noisy air conditioning dehumidifier unit, which was very close to me, as you heard. And when we turned it off, you could see the dramatic difference in how much noise was actually present in that room. Overall, I think it's great. I'll be using it for some of my videos as well. I encourage you to update, test it out, and let me know what you think in the comments. See you in the next video.